Coach, you're here today to talk about um, Team Playbooks at teamplaybooks.com. And, uh, of course, you are involved in that along with Tom Flores and Jim Everett. Jim Everett, of course, is the former Ram quarterback and another prolific pa- – he was the most prolific passer in L.A. Rams history. And we all know about Tom Flores' resume with the Raiders. He's won Super Bowls and so forth and so on. So you're with a good group of guys. Now, what you have coming out this week it, through Apple – is the John Robinson Power Running Game app, and uh, let me now correct me if I'm wrong, but this application has basically all the plays that you used to run, maybe at USC with the Rams. You have Power Power Running Game, uh, the Gap up there, um, and it's it's every position is explained. This must have taken some time to draw up, or is this just something you did on a piece of paper? Oh, this is the play here. and Oh, no. We worked at it, and I think it's a, a marvelous invention in terms of what a young coach or any coach who uh, is in the offseason. You know, all the time I was coaching, I would drive to coaches' conventions or coaches' clinics in the offseason. This can really replace that because is it, if you were interested in, in our type of football, or really we have a lot of, uh, a lot of other, uh, um, you know, uh, styles too on there, you can look at this and really be able to – comprehend what you want to do so so it's like everything and with modern technology now it's right there this must have been uh, difficult for you because you know you're as old as my dad no offense coach but you know uh 50 <laughs> yeah he's 50 actually he's 52 i thought you were 53 coach but i mean to, to ha- this is like a video game and this is what the youngsters are all about today coach this is not something i grew up pl- i was telling the guys last week i had a ditto machine yeah. mimeographs and st- that stuff was blurry half the time trying to read that stuff the fine print are you kidding me but uh this thing is exactly like a video game you can see what every football player on that field is doing from the linemen to the running backs to the wide receivers even the defense moves with you and if you're an athlete you could look at your position and see where you're supposed to be from start to finish that is just fabulous coach it really is and and you know we all grew up with playbooks you know right. they, they, everybody published a playbook you give it to the players they wouldn't read it at all just carry it around yeah you know now <laughs> i agree I, I i see that if i were back in coaching this would be the way i would go in terms of every communication with the player you can you know the player can read it at home you can send him the information at home the next week's scouting report you could have out on a on a sunday night after a saturday game so it's it's really a, an advancement, a step forward, and and I think um, it's, it would be a lot of fun for somebody to to just to st- delve into the game this way. And I think for the fan too, it gives you a real insight as to to what actually is going on. You know, we all pretend like we know a lot about this game, but not many do. So I think this would be an advantage for people. Would have you liked to have had this back in the day? You know, because you can actually check and see what players are actually studying this and who didn't even open it up. Oh, I definitely would. I'm I personally was am a visual learner. There are some people that learn not many anymore learn by books and in, in, in the printed material. But visual, uh, in most athletes, I think, are visual. The game is taught that way. And uh, so I think that's the way to go. And I think uh, I'm. I'm very excited about this. Coach, can can this help create the next Derek Dickerson? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's one thing you can't do. No bionics, huh? It does. No, it's, no, that's right. It isn't quite at that level yet, but uh, – it does. It does allow you to see what Eric ran. All the plays that we have on here that are going to be on this apps are are the things we used for Eric and for Marcus Allen and Charlie White and such. So it, it is that basic offense, which is still very popular now. It's being run by a number of teams, and uh, and the coaching points I think are still really valid. I have to imagine it's an easy sell to coaches who, who get this and see what it can do for their players. I, you know, and, and if I were coaching, as I say, I would, I, would, I would have one from just about every running offense there was. So you would accumulate a library. Back when I was an assistant and even as a head coach, I bought every book that was ever. I, ha- I still in my garage have 50 books about uh, how Pop Warner ran, ran the old tea. You know, I, uh, 
I, I treasure those books, so I think these these this apps will be very popular. Is, is this the kind of the kind of stuff you and John Van were drawing up as kids uh, when you were growing up together? Absolutely, <laughs> and and John and I, John and I, I can remember John and I driving down. We lived in the Bay Area, driving down to L.A. and going to watch John McKay the year after he won the national championship at a clinic. Now we wouldn't have to drive all that way. We could just have a beer in in Daly City where we lived and what and, and look at all this stuff. Now, Coach, it's more than just and, and by the way, Bob, his original playbook, him and Madden, it was originally just draw in the dirt, you know. Of course, say, that's how we all learned. They right? take a picture of it, you know, with a Polaroid. Well, they didn't have Polaroids back then. It's probably one of those big old huge, you know, uh inch and three quarter and negative type cameras. You know, Coach, uh this app is more than just that. You know, you also give uh coaches tips about how to prepare for a game plan and 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 different things like that that are important to young coaches well i think so i you know so much of coaching is how you what kind of culture you create and you sometimes you go into things it's like being a parent you go into being a parent and don't know what you're doing you know and i think young coaches particularly at the youth level need to have a thought process of how to deal with with issues there are so many issues now that become uh, major social problems uh, as soon as somebody you know puts it on on uh, on the internet you you've got uh, a major problem so i i think I think thinking through all of these things and hearing about them and then formulating your own sense of how you build a culture, how you motivate players, and how you teach, those are the things that are really, really important in coaching. You you must think of the intangibles. We all want to draw X's and O's, but we also need that part of the game. This is very important because, Coach, you're an old-school guy. I mean, you guys work really hard back in the day you know to, you didn't have the technology you didn't have the working out techniques you know physiology was different the way you guys worked out with the kinesiology and all that stuff so times have really changed and it's, it's good that uh, somebody like yourself and Tom Flores have stepped forward and, and helped with this because basically let's face it you guys uh, are the guys that pretty much blaze the trail and a lot of these young guys you know everybody's into quick we want it now soft gratification but truth be told it took a long time for you to refine your work Oh, absolutely. I, you know, anybody anybody who's great at anything must invest a, a huge amount of time. You know, there's a book out about 10,000 hours to become an a ex, expert in anything. And so when you look over a period of time, how ideas develop and how teaching skills, you look at John Wooden, who's probably the greatest coach of all time, 16 years before he won a championship yeah, you know yeah, absolutely. Know you, you don't you don't think of that so and those things uh, those things take time and and the idea of developing a, a culture that you present to your team is really important all right coach one quick question before we got to get out of here is I wanted to ask you pro or college what was more satisfying for John Robinson in, in coaching you know, uh, some of both. The college, the everything surrounding the game was great. Um, I think you, when you recruit a kid, you recruit him for uh, an extended period of time, and you must uh, be involved in his life personally. I, I would go into homes and say, I will guarantee that your son graduates from college. And so a lot of the players that played for me uh, at USC are still friends of mine, and I was involved in their life. In the pro game, it's a little more, a little more businesslike. Very good, Bob. Anything in closing? Yeah, I'm just going to say, Coach, when the LA Rams do finally come ah. home, you're going to be our first phone call here on the franchise because we're going to celebrate Bob it. Bob, the return of the Los Angeles Rams back home where they belong. You're lucky, John Conti's in the restroom right now in the squatty potty, <laughs> man, because. Uh, you know, he'd be ripping you right now, Bob. How yeah. dare you insult Coach Robinson right They're here? Coming the home. Rant. They're you're coming getting, home. You're getting Coach's hopes up, and he knows better. That's just it. Coach knows better. <laughs> well, let's don't forget the Trojans. They're still the number one. That's after. right. Uh, no, no, that's no. my Super Bowl champ right there, baby, every year. Hey, Coach, I'd like to thank you for your time today, man. I wish you guys great success. I think what you guys are doing is fantastic. You guys are going to revolutionize the way athletes approach their game plans. Well, we're going to help. Don't forget, teamplaybooks.com. That's right. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Coach Robinson for coming in. Stay tuned. We come back. Unfortunately, John Conti's going to be back with us. 
<laughs> well, the NFL Report, you're listening to the franchise on AMA 30 KLAA. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate it. Thank you.